For the Circuit Python Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can get into the bootloader for a bunch of different feather boards. And this will apply pretty much to our other boards as well. They're, they're usually pretty similar. Uh, and they follow along chip lines usually. So what this means is when you have a board and you want to put a new version of CircuitPython on it, there is some sort of a reset magic finger button combo that you can do that will get you the Feather Boot Drive or some version, some variant on that name. Uh, and so I want to go over those. So uh, first up we here have here the Feather M0 Express and the Feather M4 Express. These work uh, pretty much the same way. And what I'll do is, let me bring up uh, the little cheat sheet here per board. What you'll see there, I have my finder, I'm on a Mac, I have the finder and it's showing me what drives are connected up right now. Uh, so in this case, I'm gonna plug in this Feather M0 Express. Uh, after a moment, you'll see a CircuitPy drive shows up. So it's running whatever CircuitPython code is on there. If I wanna get either the M4 or the M0, they act the same, into the bootloader, all I'm gonna do is quickly double click the reset button. So each of this is gonna have a reset button on the board. Tap, tap, double click, and after a moment here you'll see a drive named Feather Boot shows up. And that's actually the same, both the M0 and the M4. Plug that one in, uh, double click, and then we see Feather Boot. Next up, we have an NRF52840, and that's the same for the NRF52840 as well as the NRF52840 cents. Uh, so I'll plug that in, and these as well are a fast double click on the reset button. Uh, you will see, however, you'll get a different drive name for this. This is Feather840 Boot. Uh, so that's when you've got the NRF52840 in there. And again, you can now drag on a UF2 file, such as a new version of CircuitPython. Next up, I've got an RP2040. So this has the Raspberry Pi RP2040 chip on it. I'll go ahead and plug that one into USB, plugged into my computer. And this one you'll see is a little bit more elaborate. We're gonna hold down, press and hold the boot select button. In this case, it's on the end. Sometimes there'll be a boot select button on the face of the board. Uh, but on this newer revision, it's on the end. So I'm gonna press and hold boot cell. And then while I'm pressing and holding that, I'll press and release the reset button, and then release boot cell, and you'll see the Feathers boot drive shows up, but in this case, it's named RPI-RP2. That is the uh, Raspberry Pi RP2040 uh, boot drive name. It doesn't say Feather boot on that one. Uh, so once again, that is, if we just press reset, we'll get back to whatever drive it was. If it's running CircuitPython, you'll see a CircuitPy drive. In this case, I don't think this one is. Uh, but if I want to load CircuitPython on, I'm just going to press and hold boot cell, press and release, reset, release boot cell, and there you go. You've got the Feather boot drive there. And then the last one here is ESP32-S2 and ESP32-S3. Uh, both act the same way. You'll see in this case, we have uh, deceptively there is a boot button on here as well as a reset button. We don't use the boot button in this case, and I always forget this and I just go for it. Uh, and, and after a while, I scratch my head and look it up. Uh, so no need, here's the cheat sheet for you. On ESP32-S3, ESP32-S2, it's the same. You're gonna do a slow double click reset. So not to tap as fast as you can, but it's got a little bit of like a pause between them. Uh, you'll know it's time to press it the second time when you see the indicator go purple. So one, two. So tap, tap, like that. So a moderate speed, I call it slow. It's not your fast as you possibly can, which is usually what you do on the M0 and the M2. Uh, and so there you can see we get a boot drive in this case that's called Feather S2 boot. If it were the ESP32 S3, you'd get Feather S3 boot. And so these are all of the uh, sort of most common boards you're gonna show up, most common chipsets that you're gonna see. Uh, there are variants on them, the CAN bus versions of some of these and the uh, TFT versions of these, but they'll all act uh, pretty much the same for a given chipset. That is how you can boot into the boot drive on a bunch of different feather boards. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.